welcome back to my channel. I have another mixed media layout for you. And for this one, I am starting off with the scrap piece of paper of Dreamy. It's from the Maggie Homeshine collection. It's this music note paper. And I'm adhering it down with simple matte medium gel. This one's by Daler and Rowney that I picked up from Walmart. And now I'm trying a new technique today, and you'll see once we get started. I'm using heavy gloss gel. Heavy? No. Gloss Super Heavy Gel, whatever it is. And this is a, a stencil from Prima. I think it's called Petite Floral. And I am using it just like I would, would modeling paste. The thing with Heavy Gloss Gel is that it, A, is a resist. And it dries glossy. So I am applying this in hopes of doing two different techniques on the same paper. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll put it down. And I'm just using it, like you say, like modeling paste. Before it dries, while it's wet, so once I kind of remove this, I go and clear, clean my stencil, I'm going to add gold glitter to the sections that are over the musical note um, area. And then you're going to see that where I leave it without the glitter, it dries to a very glossy finish um, and translucent, but you'll still see the pattern of the flowers. And the result, watch this, is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, and then you can see how shiny it dries. Now, the thing about it is, too, right now, is that now it acts like a resist. It's almost like clear embossing. And I'm using watercolors from a tube that I just watered out with white. This is what, uh, just a simple watercolor wash. And you can see just how stinking spectacular this is. And I got the idea of using the gloss gel from... A recent, I think it's a recent video from Wilna from the her love series last month. And she used heavy gloss like it was modeling paste. And I'm pretty much giving it a try. So this is heavily inspired by Wilna again. Um, it is beautiful. I, and I'm going to tell you, like after I did this with the glitter as well, I showed it to my fiance. And all I have is gold glitter, believe it or not, in my stash. And he was like, why don't you do that technique with different colored glitters? And I literally went to the store with his permission to buy different colored glitter. <laughs> I have like six different color glitters now. Anyways, moving on. I am using the Heidi Swap Sugar Chic Collection. This is an old one. I have the paper pad. And I'm making a bunch of tags. I have these tag die cuts in my stash. And you guys, I'm totally scrapping a picture my mom found of me as a little girl holding a little like chihuahua dog. Shut up. It's the cutest thing ever. And don't get me wrong. The, color, the picture was black and white. I mean, color. Um, but I obviously took a picture of a picture and then just change it to gray um the gray tones because it was like a weird red sweater and and the bow in my hair is like another like orangey polka dot thing um but it's just so funny so in case you're wondering that is me when I was like four years old or three or however old I look in that picture I still have the same huge forehead <laughs> So I'm doing this cluster of tags with the Sugar Sheet Collection, um, and I like the way that looks, but I had an idea that in order to have them pop out a little bit more, I am going to distress the edges with Stormy Skies, I think it's called, from um, Tim Holtz. Let me make sure. I have it somewhere. Weathered wood, sorry, it was wrong, but it's it's gray, it doesn't look black, but I wanted to distress the edges so that they pop a little bit more, as you can see right now. And now I think I made like six, seven tags, and I'm adding ribbon from my stash to all of them. One of them is literally a gold ribbon that you can see, and the other one is kind of like a cream, very sheer uh, ribbon, which I thought worked beautifully, um, as well as the Sugar Sheet Collection for having more of this cream background and not being a stark white that... I loved it. And then the little floral garland there um, as well is from Wilna Furstenberg. It's one of her printables in her store. And I could have used my silhouette and do the print and cut and all that stuff, but I'll be honest, I just printed the PDF and then um, fussy cut it out because sometimes I don't have time to do all that silhouette steps. <laughs> and... What, and note to self, whenever you're working with mixed media, like since I have all that glittered background, um, glue was just not going to work. So here I am with my hot glue gun. And you know I dislike this hot glue gun, but I, I'll let you know I did buy a new one this week <laughs> weekend because I just can't take it. This one was just either I bought a dud or, or, or just doesn't melt glue. <laughs> That's simple as it is. 
So I hate to say it, like I am just loving this. And now I'm taking my chipboard um, piece. I still have some from this collection from uh, the Hello Love crepe paper chipboard pieces. And I do add like a gold arrow, as you see right now, and a few of the hearts. And I just kind of cluster them all next to these tags. And don't get me wrong, the tags are very dimensional. I love them. I think this layout has like, at least to me, whenever I use like cream colored background images, so like the tags and the music note paper, it always gives me the impression of like more of a vintage, worn, weathered look rather than being on bright white cards, uh, cardstock, if you if that makes sense. Um, and I'm using a few of the little stickers from the Hello Love sticker sheet as well. And I don't, do I add? I don't. I don't add any journaling um, directly to this layout, but I do want to mount it. So you will start seeing me um, cut like a quarter inch off of every edge um, so that I can mount it. And now I thumb around, you'll see like a couple of papers get stacked behind my layout because I try to do it on like a polka dot sheet on a you know pattern sheet it didn't work out it ends up just being simply mounted on a very blush pink cardstock that I have in my stash um and I leave it as is I, I think everyone should find old baby pictures of themselves and scrap them because it's just the funniest thing that I'm like such a dog person now and here I am at three years old trying to hold a little chihuahua that looks just you know maybe just half my size I was such a small kid <laughs> but it truly is just a really fun layout I really encourage you to try this technique it's like I said it's gloss super heavy gel and you can use the gel just like modeling paste. So thank you as always for joining me. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I do have another layout, probably I'll show it tomorrow, using the same technique because I had fun with it over the weekend and it's easy. Have a good evening, bye.